Having come here freely and without reservation, I give yourself each other in marriage. Yes, I do. May you love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives. Yes, I do. May you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church. Yes, I do. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Thank you. To be my wife, I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Bonnie, to be my husband. 
husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you with both his blessings. For God is joined and must not divide. Lord bless this day which we bless in your name. Grant that who, those who bear them may always have a deep faith in each other. May they do your will and always live together in peace and goodwill and love. We are this to Christ our Lord.
The church celebrates the solemnity of the epiphany of our Lord Jesus. Jesus manifested himself to the whole nation as the king of the universe and he continues to manifest himself through the sacraments. During this Eucharist, let us pray for the grace that we may surrender ourselves completely to the Lord in all humility like the three wise men. We pray for the Holy Family community as they celebrate their community feast today. Great Eucharistic celebration and the Lord manifested me to all nations. That's what the feast calls us, manifestation from Christ for all. The means Christ has come to all of us in order to be given of his loving heart. So we are here to pray for the Lord for the same Lord who has accepted us as his children. So we joyful move that is celebrate the Eucharist and ask the Lord to bless us all. And as we celebrate, we have a Christian praying for the departed souls of Lila Pereira on the first death anniversary. That is of all the month's mind and Lila Muscorinus. At the same time, send thanks to be marked by the Holy Family community. At the same time, also, we are having two couples in front of us, that is, Men and Jyoti, and Bonnie and Suti, who are exchanging their marriage vow just before the Mass. So let us pray them to the Lord, so that God may bless them abundantly, so that they two men have the same peace and joy of Christ in their wedding life. And also, we are glad to have guest visitors. This is Father Peter Dessa, a Carmelite priest, who was initiated in the Tanzania for many years. Now he is in one hour of the week in his service. We welcome him also. So, you know, in the name of God, we can let's begin this celebration. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit,
all the directions. Do not call me a bird. How I have been entrusted by God with the grace he meant to me. And that it was by a revelation that I was given the knowledge of the mystery. This mystery that has now been revealed to the Spirit, to his holy apostle and prophet, was unknown to any man in past generations. It means that pagans now share the same inheritance, that they are part of the same body, and that the same promise has been made to them in Jesus Christ through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thank you, right? Okay. Because of that, three gifts, they are called three kings. Because 
there are lots of gifts and gifts can be brought only by the great people. That's a possibility. But we are not much worried about how many number, but we are only worried much to reflect what be these people or why they are called wise and what the way they show their wiseness and what they brought, what they needed to bring. Because in our creed, we have on the Christmas Sunday, I shared some reflection on the creed and I said that it is maybe should give us a very good meaning of sharing that is our vision. And there are so many things are involved in the creed, but today's creed I do not know. The essential things are disappearing and uh, not essential things are coming up, so you all know. Because the major or the big of the world, it should be something, but today we want all to make a fashion to show attractive gold. Okay, that's all the different way. But in any creed, we see three things normally that get a little far because I think funny means they come slowly, slowly, slowly near the Buddha. Major, that's a possibility. Then there is a star in the center of the creed because these two things are very essential for the feast of creed. Now these are called wise men. And wise men in the sense because they were able to read out the signs and interpret. Not at all a worldly way, but in a spiritual way. Because when they could see a certain star, they were waiting for a certain star, and once they saw the star, they understood one of the great things as God. There's a reason they come by seeing the star, coming to hear it and asking, where is the king of Jews born? So straight away they ask to a king. And this king never knew anything about this king. He got oppressed and also frightened. And he asked everybody, do you know whom he's calling? These one wise people, these Pharisees, scribes and all, and asking, do you know where the king of Jesus is? And they do quote one the scripture, that is Bethlehem of Judah, the king of Jesus is born. And he and less than come slowly, go search, and then meet him, then we also buy to see the different thing. So these are the wise men by seeing the star coming, and once that the star disappears when they near the healer, they didn't get discouraged, rather they go to healer, asking him, then again when they come out, they see the star, then start with the angel to see the universal thing. So the manifestation of Christ means Christ has come not only for the Jews, for the chosen people, it is for the whole universe. That's the reason these wise men have come from East, they say, which place we do not know, and the tradition, there are so many stories. But those stories may not help us much, but what it requires for us today, the thing what they brought. Again, the three things we call the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These are more simple things we can draw. It's not because of their just a draw. It is also their wise man. And the wise man means again the mighty of God, the inspiration by the Spirit, which made them to see the star and come to the universal thing. They might also inspired by the same Spirit to bring this gift to forecast what Christ to be. The gold is the sign of a rich people or a king. And frankincense is the divine surprise, that is, Christ is God. And the mud is a king, and the death is predicted, that is, suffering and death of the cross. So these three things are more, and already these wise men predicts for Jesus' life would be. And that's the reason we be that all wise. Now, coming to us, what this speech means for me and for you? Manifestation. We are all called to manifest what? Is it Christ or manifest myself? We are very, very happy to manifest our own show today. There is no doubt the way we dress, the way we show, the way we decorate, the way we show us as who we are. That is another type of manifestation. But can Christ be manifest? 
manifested through our external show is a question. The reason I said we can make a beautiful dream, we can bring so many people to see the dream, we can have all this type of decoration, and we all proclaim Christ born for us. But when Christ born was there, this decoration, was the dream was like that, what we have done have to make in front of us? That is our question. So now, where do we go from the real manifestation? Before Christ is born for me and for you, what is my manifestation to show that Christ for others? But these are the wise men, they could understand what Christ is, and as a reason they come and you him, that we have this Christ who is born for me and for you. Now, if I say that I believe in his God's kingship, his divine God, and at the same time his passion in there, what is my life to be? Am I following this Christ who has given me the life? Because the star is one of the beautiful things. And we are very happy to have the star. But when we see the star, what is my attitude towards the star? The star is sign of Christ. Because as the star or the stream at time, Christ is going to be all the children to his father. This is the reason the star is always kept in the center of the field because the star made this magi to come. So today I was when you see the star, what is my feelings of that star? I want a beautiful star, different different types of star. They are all in one divers, spiritual happiness. Spiritual happiness is star is considered as a light which leads us towards Christ and from that light our life should shine and this life should go to others. That is the message of Christ birth for me and for you. And if I have faith in that light of Christ for me to others, then still Christ is not revealed or Christ is not come to me. So the three magis after adoring, honoring Christ gave their gift to Christ and ran back. That means they are the people who first recognized Christ as the universal king and when they went back, we do not know what they had done, but surely they are not meant to be a back, right? Nero was not the person to receive that goodness, good news, because he had only worldliness, worldly kingship, and he would be very, and that the reason we know after innocent that murdered, because he wanted the kingship by himself. But this Magi understood what a Christ kingship is different. So my dear brothers and sisters, today we are all called manifest as Christians. What is my manifestation to be? We are many times losing the real manifestation of Christ through our life. And that makes us very difficult to follow Christ. Because we are not courageous as this Magi said. Why? When they were told not to go to evil, they were not frightened. They went to another way as the truth just sees. And we are also called to many times not to do this, not to do that. Because the word of God doesn't permit us that things to do. But we are frightened of the society. We are frightened of the society. Why? If I don't do this, the people will speak, people will speak. And all the time I'm worried what others say except what God says. And this is my weakness to me. I'm frightened of all others except God. And I'm frightened of all what others say except what God says about me. And that is what God manifests today. And for that I require the courage. And this courage is given only by Christ. And Christ has come to give us courage and the light so that we become wise, not foolish. Wise means what? Understand the signs, understand His word, and walk with courage and manifest that Christ through my life. And that is the way where we will be very, very good in following Christ. Otherwise, all of our show will be just like the show, which will not make us anywhere closer to Jesus. But if you want to come closer to Jesus, we should accept Him with love because ultimately He left His divine hope. Though He was God, He left His God and He came, living the godliness coming to be human and being with us and to the environment that God has us. Now do I really feel that God
God is within me? If God is within me, what should be my attitude? I receive every time communion, and in the community that Jesus comes to me, my heart. But what is my attitude towards that Jesus who comes to me? How happy I am when I he comes to me. Oh, what an eagerness I am receiving between. Is it just like every Sunday I come for the mass and I just receive a small piece of bread and after going out from there I pocket everything? No, Christ accompanies me and I have to pay this price wherever I go. There's a reason. Christ says, so the mass is ending. So the mass is ending is ended here, but starting. You start, you the mass when you go out. And that is the message for me and for you. So as we are celebrating the great feast, every family manifests of God, let's ask Jesus to manifest us to ourselves. Because God has manifested us through baptism of all sacrament. And when these couples are there in front of us, he has manifested his love to the sacrament of marriage. But now, this love, they should view and manifest to the others. And others may understand they are the people of love. They are really accepted Jesus and Jesus is reflected in their life. And that's the message for me and for you. Not only for them today, we too have received the baptism and the communion, in the confirmation, all the sacraments of receiving. So that we are more and more made strong to manifest this Jesus through my life. That's the reason Jesus has given all these sacraments for us so that we can be strengthened again and again. Because He knows we are all weak, we are not able to manifest Him in our lives. That's the reason these sacraments are given step by step. All the sacraments are not given together so that we can understand the value and the same that the most beautiful sacraments are the Eucharist and also the reconciliation confession. Where we are again and again friends and we feel with energy by the same tribe go to the world to manifest him through our lives. Now, question is, do I manifest this Jesus in my life? If I am faith, once again, let's ask the Lord to be filled with his grace so that we too may be like wise the child, where we can ever only that good God in my life and I will give this God to others. May the Lord help us. Amen. Let's all stand. Once again, it's the <coughs> purpose of faith in the time of God. Our belief in God.
and need the call of Christ to come to him and to reach out to those who are poor. We pray to the Lord. Christ, our King, Lord our Let us pause and pray for our personal and community needs. <coughs> We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, especially your children, Bonnie and Sudi, Mary and Jyoti, at the exchange of walks of marriage, that they can always now, so that they can always experience your everlasting love for them, and then share this love in their life, and then be able to build up a good family, and also bless all those who are your, so that we may all understand your great love to Jesus Christ, whom you manifest to us as our Savior in me, and help us to be more faithful, visible, in the name of prayer, Christ our Lord. Amen.
and when it appears in our modern nature, we may be still by the glory of this immortal nature. And so the angels and archangels, with thoughts and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, the same name of your glory, as thou can be in flame. Savior, 
Christ. Thank you. 